Hi. One of the most common questions we have these days is how do I check, uh, how do I decide on a silver pattern? And it's always been a problem, but it seems like it's more of a problem these days than any time because many young women and men do not want what their parents had. And that used to be an easy way to solve the problem. So you got to think about what you want. Do you want something to match sort of what your house style is? Do you want something that matches your dining room? Do you want something that matches your china? Or do you just want something that you like? And so I'm going to talk about styles and finishes today. So styles. There is the Victorian. So Lily by Whiting is the most popular Victorian pattern. It's probably the, the Victorian was like 1880 to 1910 or so. Another choice is Art Nouveau. Very fancy, uh, qu quite often had women and flowers. 1913 came along and they had deco. Etruscan is the most famous deco pattern. Then they had arts and crafts. And this crusader is hand hammered with bolts. Really cool pattern. It'd be a great choice for an arts and crafts home. And then finally, modern. And this diamond by Reed and Barton, the mid century modern look, is very popular. And this pattern is very popular because it was done by a famous designer, Gio Pate. So those are the various time periods and styles. But the other thing that we haven't talked about are finishes. So how is a ver the various silver flatwares or other mediums finished? One very popular one today is gilded silver or gilded stainless. So it goes great with china that has a gold rim maybe crystal with a gold rim it's been super popular for us i was looking back and in july uh, we sold over a thousand pieces of gilded or gold accented silver another one that's popular is this look this black and silver uh, this pattern is called contrast it's by lunt and it's from of the 1970s. I think you could build a beautiful room around this, you know, have uh, white tablecloths and maybe black placemats, uh, maybe silver and black butter holders or, you know, plates with a, with a black and white. Be really attractive, I think. Then, as I had mentioned, there's the gold accent. Uh, this one is called Golden Trade Ones. So it has this gold bamboo with a silver lattice work in the middle. A very modern look. And again, uh, there's a, bamboo is hot as a pistol right now. People love things with bamboo. And so you could build your whole dining room with a, a bamboo look, you know. And it would, it would look really great. Some things have a, a finish on them, sort of a muted finish. It's a nice warm look with candlelight. It really looks very attractive. This one's called Spanish Lace. People do like things that are hammered also. So this beaded by Jensen, I love these beads, has nice hammering on the pieces. You know, it, it goes well with a arts and crafts look as well as you know this one here again of uh, the crusader really both patterns are are both really special this one is also really nice uh, it'd be great with a modern home or home that's kind of rustic and so this is fjord by dance and this is teak uh, it's one of the last handmade patterns. It's been made in Denmark, Germany. It's been made in France and Finland. 
It was made in Japan and currently China, but it's not expensive. It's really great looking and um, it would go really well with a modern home. So those are a few th ways to choose a silver pattern. And then if you have questions, you can call the antique cupboard. So let's say you're looking for a, a very popular look. Right today, people really seem to like things that are plain, that are rounded, and things that are by a, a very high-end company. So like Tiffany has a pattern called Hamilton. There's another pattern that's called Hannah Hull by Tuttle. Both rounded, simple patterns with excellent weight by good makers. If you're thinking, hmm, which one do I choose? Call and we'll tell you our thoughts on the patterns. And a lot of these, there's no right or wrong answer, but um, you know, we can guide you and be happy to do it. You know, we enjoy talking to you about your choices as much as you do asking the questions. So anytime, give us a call. We'll be happy to help. Thanks.